Hello everyone and welcome back to Mars Horizon. It is September 1978. We have two Skylabs under construction, presumably replacement Skylabs for the original, because we had already launched one. And we will be completing them in eight months. So, well, that's the main thing. I don't think we have any slots open. Oh, let's uh, check out the active missions here. Uh, yep, it seems like we're full up on stuff. Uh, Galilean Moon's flyby is in progress, so let's see. We'll just have to wait it out. The missions are taking longer and longer, so... Soviet Union completed Phase 2 of Mars Lander. What? Oh, well, well no, that's a regular lander, not a crew lander. Phew, okay. Don't panic. Okay, uh, we got a tiny boost, but we did not get to uh, level 13. Uranus flyby research complete. Okay, so let's pick some more research. So our plan is to go down this way. And I think if we get one side done, there's a choke point here. We need three things. But this uh, Galileo counts as one, and a grand tour can count as another one. Anyway, uh, why don't we research Grand Tour, maybe? I don't care about Neptune flyby. Sorry, Neptune fans, but yeah, let's research Grand Tour. But all these very difficult things, can't we do something that can be completed really quickly? Maybe X-ray telescope is... I don't know. Support reward is pretty low for that, too. It does take less science to actually complete. We're only getting 330 science per month, so we're gonna have to rely on actually completing some of the missions in order to get real science here. I should probably build some buildings that help out with the science-y stuff. So, yeah, but I don't know, there's not too much. Launcher-wise, I, I guess we're okay until we actually have to launch crew to Mars. Uh, we might want to do space planes. There's a little space plane right there. It increases Mars expertise, apparently. Hmm. Doesn't take as long as the Grand Tour. Potentially reusable space shuttle. Well, you know, I'm, I approve of potentially reusable space shuttles. Maybe we'll hold off on the Grand Tour since that takes 16,500 science. And... But we need one thing... Uh, to unlock this tier. I guess... Centaur D? I mean, we've got already something that can launch 15, uh, 14 tons to the outer planets. Do we really need 24 tons to the outer planets? Or should we get a Delta 4 or a Titan 3? Titan 3 is cheap. 16 ton capacity. That's mass of 14 tons. Basically, we're putting that upper stage on this one. The Titan is cheaper. Its launch reliability is worse, though. I think we don't need the Titan 3 if we have this. 24 tons... ...would be matching up with the Centaur-D. But we don't have the Centaur-D. If we unlock the Centaur-D... ...maybe... We can use boosters to... No. 2400 isn't gonna be enough to increase the capacity of the Mu-5 so that we can carry the Centaur-D anyway. So... If we want to use the Centaur-D, we would have to get the Delta-4. Titan-3, if we just wanted to go cheaper than the Mu-5 and carry the... Move 5 upper stage with it. I mean, but each level gives us plus 6%, so that's nice. We'll go with the Titan 3 since it's more compatible with what we've got, and then we'll try and build this vehicle, Hoop, which looks like it uses an H2 rocket, but we actually haven't made the H2 rocket. The H2 rocket is down here. It's all, it's all mixed up. I mean, yeah, that definitely looks like an H2 rocket. Anyway. So that is what we're doing. 
Still waiting for the two Sky Labs. We were the first to do Mars Lander, right? Yes, yes we were. But uh, let's we've got Mars requirements, send engine and habitat, lander. So we have to unlock those. Not much else except for Phobos photography over here. I would like to do that, but we don't have a spare slot. Right? Yeah, no mission slots available. Okay, well, there's an exclamation mark somewhere out here. Uranus. Uranus flyby mission. That's another thing that we could do. Okay, but anyway, next month. We'll need the Galileo probe eventually. So private space station payload complete. And payload reliability is 55%. Oh, and there's the crude observatory Skylab. That one has a much better um, payload reliability. Upper stage upgrade points, I don't know. Okay, so how about the private space station first? This one had a low payload reliability. I wonder if our contract... Does one of these contractors have better payload reliability? Not really. Just time and science. Okay, basically, we have to launch it on S4B. And, and Saturn 1B. We apparently don't need to use the Saturn 5. No upgrade that wasn't useful. Um, we don't have a lot of money. Let's just take our time. Nigeru, which means to run away. Okay, crude observatory. Upper stage, same. We could research the Saturn 2, but it's a lot. That would require the Saturn 5. Of course, Skylab should be launched on a Saturn 5, but anyway. Okay, this can't take an upgrade. We could have a booster upgrade points, but no upper stage upgrade points. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We need to get under our current budget, so we will also take our time with this one. Yokata, which is... that was good. Now it's gonna be done in 1980, so we have done nothing this year, basically. They don't mind. This is getting to be more modern NASA-ish. Titan 3 research is complete though. Okay. So I am going to... Well, yeah, vehicles. I want my space plane. Okie dokie. We'll have to work on what exactly it launches on, I guess. Capacity is 30 tons. I guess it's just basically all-encompassing. In other words, it doesn't look like it needs any other rocket. It's its own thing. Phase 1 of Saturn flyby. Uh, uh, did, did we fail the Saturn flyby? Hold on. Jupiter, Saturn. Saturn flyby. Oh yeah, the Soviets are gonna beat us to a Saturn flyby. Shoot. That sure didn't happen. Um, Jupiter flyby we won on. But Saturn flyby we have not. We'll have to beat them to Uranus. We got nothing. We literally got nowhere. They they know we did nothing. Well, next phase of Galilean moons flyby. So I'm not doing any auto resolve. Okay, initiate data collection. Well, we got some radiation issues. That is reasonable for the whole Jupiter thing, so 
we need some data and some nav in order to dissipate the radiation. Otherwise, we'll have worse payload reliability as we go along. Let's just prioritize the data and nav first. Data. And we can use one data nav there and... Yeah, but we'll need power soon. At least we have five turns, but that's not necessarily a good thing, because eventually radiation's gonna be an issue. Okay, that worked, that worked. And that worked, but our reliability isn't great. We've got a pretty big red zone there. Okay, but we're back to, uh, we've still got minus 15 now. Okay, in general though, that wasn't a bad combination. We've got all the nav we need. We can spend one nav to get some more data. And this one that spends the nav and a data to get rid of two of those is best. And maybe we can sneak in some power. Oh, that wasn't any good, but that's why I wanted the extra power. Hey, that was good. Oh, uh, we didn't get rid of as much radiation as we should have. Okay. Well. The radiation. Uh, we need some nav. Yes, we will get like that. Hmm. Hold on. Getting rid of radiation is sure helpful, but we need to spend the the calm points to get the other things. Why don't we just try and nail the data here? Just get the minimum requirements first. Up, oh, we'll need one power to resist that. Ah, uh, no. We we can't, we'll have to accept that. Ah, uh, that barely got it. Okay. I'm gonna spend the two comms here, and then bounce back with that. And... Get some power. I'm not trying for the bonus right now. Just taking it easy. It's a lot of radiation. Last turn though. Yeah, well since I'm not going for the bonus, let's just clear up the radiation. Okay, resist. All right, we have done the mission. Well, that phase of the mission. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, okay, complete galley and moons fly by. Okay, so we have done that. That wasn't a milestone thing though. Jupiter Orbiter is the next milestone one though. So we will want to do that. We'll have to unlock that as an option. As far as these Era completion awards. We still have to do uh, Venus Impactor, Mercury Orbit, and Venus Orbit in order to get optimized assembly, which reduces the payload construction time. Would be nice. Pluto flyby, very special. Here's the Jupiter Orbiter. Anyway, we're cooking up our space plane, so we'll wait on that. Okay, so five more months, well now four more months until the two stations are ready. Jupiter rings discovered, yes. Okay, we have radial science now. Okay, but the hope has been completed, so now we have a hope vehicle. Wyvern is interesting. 
It's got a capacity of 26 tons and its mass is 28.4 tons. <laughs> Not too sure how this actually works, but it's intriguing. Uh, maybe we should have gotten a Delta IV for just for that, because I don't think even the... Yeah, well, the S1B can launch the Wyvern. I guess that's okay. These are strap-on SRBs for Titan III, so that's a pretty good deal. That'll increase it to a capacity of 24 tons, which is still not enough for this Wyvern thing. We could go back and do the Centaur D, though. Anyway, we need three things from this tier to unlock the next tier. And finally get the H2. But I think we'll go back to doing missions. Let's try this Grand Tour thing. That... That apparently we can just do with our existing Voyager probe, I think. That would make sense. So we'll see. We're a little bit late for the actual Grand Tour, which is supposed to be launched in 1977 for Voyager. Reduced launch reliability. Hate when that happens. Oop, camera was weird. Okay, well that's holding stead. Okay, no. Increased launch reliability. Alright, we have to assign crew to these things, as if it wasn't nerve-wracking enough already. Um, just spending so much money on this sort of deal. Okay, well... Problem solver... And, uh, well, test pilot, I, I, I just want one test pilot on each one. And start each task with plus one comms. Or, I wish I knew which one needed more comms. Let's just focus on problem solving. And training. Base launch reliability. We've got a pretty high launch reliability on this one, though. Oh, uh, no. Uh, oh, yes, that's all we can do. Okay. So, if that's all we can do, maybe I should reduce... Uh, maybe we should go with science instead of the test pilot, then. Got the random resource requirement, and then a scientist. I don't know if there's any science... Is this the one with the science reward? Hold on. Um... There's the crude observatory, so yeah, that would be a science reward. Okay, so, nope, test pilot. Yes, scientist. Okay. Okay. Mm That'll be fine. Confirm mission setup. And then... Over to private space station. This one is all about the money. We'll have a comm specialist. And this one had a low launch reliability, so we'll just put one of the test pilots. So, oh, it seems to have a high science reward. Shoot. Uh, but, but it still had low reliability for launch. I mean, 70% for a crew launch is pretty bad. I'll stick to launch reliability training. And we can still do it next month for a mission setup. Okay, now we have one slot. First, let's see. Um, turns out these aren't as quick as I would like. There's a modular space station mission. Part 1. Oh, uh, they've already got first on there, the Chinese. Well, we'll get second, darn it. Zarya! Oh, Zarya's looking interesting with those panels. Okay. Cost 3.6 million. Jeez. Does it? It costs more than Skylab. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. Private space station. And crude observatory. Which one is first? <laughs> They're twin missions. Which one is actually going to launch? 
Whichever one Yokata is. I don't remember. Well, there's uh, the crude observatory. High launch reliability. Adequate conditions is fine. Continue. Sorry, I clicked in. It got rid of the countdown. I mean, of course, we lost a mission on launch last time. This one seems to be going straighter up than that one. I mean, turning is important, but not too quickly. Okay, no mission effect. And level up on the Saturn 1B. Oh, and the Saturn 4B. Okay, crude observatory. It still has only one solar panel. <laughs> because Skylab had that busted, but it was didn't have that flaw. We have to collect a lot of nav. Bonus for 49 nav. Okay. So... So that the cleanest way to get nav is power and data. And some there and get that. Let's see, six turns though. Okay. There's no wiggliness, no catch, as far as I can tell. We'll just have to get some more power. Oh, uh, don't like it missing up like that. Okay, that'll get us to thirty, and more power. Okay, the requirement. Oh, we got bonus. Just one though. Mm, but then I can't can't I uh, can't solve problems, so we will just get more power there first. We have a few turns. Okay, gyroscopic stabilization. All right, we haven't even used our crew members. <laughs> Those didn't seem to be the most efficient option. Well, two turns remaining, it should still give us an opportunity to get to 49. Oh, that's good. Well, actually, you don't need that per se, but resist that. Okay, so then that's our 49 right there. So unless I'm missing something, uh, well, we'll make sure that we get power so that we can ensure success here. Well, we needed it. Resist. And task complete. Okay, deploy space station systems. Oh, I knew it couldn't be that easy. That was an exceptionally easy task right there. Okay, yeah, now we've got three things. And we've got drift. So there's two drift that way, there's two drift the other way. Let's, let's pair them up as much as possible. And we'll get three of those, three of those, and then we need data. I'm gonna have a person get some data like that. Oh, sorry, nav and data. Okay, we'll try that. Six turns still. Okay, resist. That one was super good. We got a little animation of that. Okay, there is some random drift too. So we can't just keep doing that, even though that turned out pretty well. Let's do that, and then this one. Yep, resist. Okay, well, let's get one more power. And we need to drift the other way, so let's not spend comms on that.
Let's just get the data. And maybe two data in one of those to get the comms. Seems okay. And we will resist. The power is tight. Three turns remaining. Well, we've got bonus comms to get the data there. I will want power just in case something fails. We're not drifting either way right now. Is still one person available? Yes. We'll risk the power and try and do that. Okay, conducting experiments works. Very well. And flight path control also worked. Okay, we were lucky there, but we got some drift over to one side. We need comms. So, I'll do that. Or, well, I mean, that'll straighten us up. Only fail when no turns remain. So, we can allow some drift, but it's probably not good to go too far on that. I want to power there. Okay, well, next turn we're going to need 3 nav. And that's hard right now. Three nav and two extra comms. We'll basically have to hit this one twice. So hopefully we don't have any errors. But then we have to straighten up too. Oh, that's a bonus. Oh, we're pretty far that side, so gonna need to get the comms like that. And we're not gonna have enough to get three nabs somehow. We'll try this. But uh, yeah, we'll be one short. Unless there is some bonus if we're lucky. Okay, that straightens us up. Very important. And no bonus there. Yep, just one shy. But uh, we have a deployment though. It's very fuzzy. Why is it so fuzzy? Yeah, there we go. Though it's not so successful because one of our solar panels is gone. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of money now. Okay, so that was the money one. Now we need the science one. We had a scientist on there for no reason. Shoot. I put it on put the scientist on the wrong one. Okay. Wait, we still need to do the other thing. Come on. You plan. Could have sworn the observatory would be the one with the science and the private space station would be the one for the money, but what do I know? Okay, let's go with this and then we will have two free mission slots. Adequate conditions. Uh, continue. Again, I clicked again and coughed the countdown. Okay, that flame was worrying me for a sec there, though. But it was successful. Secure launch. Okay. Achieve orbit again. Well, we've been through this recently, but it requires 50 this time. That's different. <laughs> um. 
Okay. And we've got the drifting. Yeah, didn't we not have the drifting previously? For this phase? I guess that's an okay trade-off. Considering where we're at. That only matters at the end. Oh, that's pretty bad. Hey, it's a black screen there. <laughs> oh, the reliability on this is horrible. We just barely made it. Okay, more of that. Even more of that. Might as well get some drift over to this side. Okay. Alright, that was super successful. That is not. We'll resist. And that is also not. We also resist. Okay. Four turns remain. We're still sort of on track. That. Let's tell the people to get some comms and also get some power. That was super good. It's good enough. Okay, and then we can spend the comms there. Uh, let's see, three turns. Hold on. If we only did this one, that would only be 18 and that wouldn't be enough. So we're gonna have to do something more than just trade off the comms for the nav. And... But we have to be careful of the drift stuff. Well... If we have extra power, we can do the location extrapolation on a subsequent turn. And I don't know if there's gotta be enough power available. We have to resist over and over and over again. Um, reduce by one, I'll accept. Let's just not work on that. Okay, get that one. And... We'll get more power and also... We need at least one more comm, so we'll try this as well. Got data I don't need, but uh, let's see. All right, that's okay. That's okay. We're still aiming for that bonus reward. So this one, and we can't drift. We'll just go straight power to nav, and we'll have one power to resist. And we're balanced. Okay. Okay. That does it. Alright. Now we have to deploy the systems. That was the easy one. Still have drift. It's a range though. We started with one comms. Uh, we have a crew member who gives us one comms each time. And mainly it's the data that's heavy. We can get some data like this, but then we have to drift the other way. So let's start this. Go like that. And just drift this. Serious stuff. I think I'll just send some power to get some comms. Hey, that's good. That's good. That's not so good. Resist. 
Okay. Let's see. Nav. The nav is a little bit light. We can trade off, trade it off for some comms, but the only way we can get it is down here. And this one. I guess we should do this. We need to readjust anyway. It, it gives us random drift more this time. I mean, I guess we could do this infrared mapping. We need the stuff there, and this will move us further to that side, so let's do that and do this again. Oh, um, no, that's the wrong way. Let's get the data. I think that would be okay. Okay, resist. That's okay. And that's not okay. Resist. Lots of power. Okay. Need some power. Need comms and... I guess we'll try this one and then try that as well. But it's tight because of the... Mm, yeah, I'll just have to accept what I get from that. Flight path control. Okay, you know, let's just focus on getting the requirements here. Power. Drift back. We want that's too much drift on that direction. That'll get us the basics. Let's get an extra power for now. Focus on just getting through this here. Okay, now more nav and then eventually maybe we can get more comms. We just need one more point data so that does that for the bonus. And then we have three so we can, I mean, if we want the bonus we don't have three but for now at least we can spend the three to get the transmission and get to that number and we can get power. Okay, and just one more turn after this though. So we'll have to try and hit this one twice, which we can't do because of the drift. Ugh. Well, anyway, proceed. At least nothing too weird. Okay, well, now, now we can drift back to the other way. Okay, and we want to drift one more, but it'll still be within the range. And there's no random one right now. So... As long as it works, as long as we don't have to use electric charge to resist, it'll be fine. Okay, that one was okay. Don't drift extra. And that's okay. Just barely. We eked it out. We got the bonus. Station deployment. And... Okay. Uh, extra thumbs up and... That's just uh, over 25 months. Okay. Auxiliary propulsion system. Alright. So, okay, so we've deployed our two stations. That was, I suppose, the goal for today. Uh, we have another modular station thing, but let's pick up some new contracts. And we should, maybe we should go for Uranus so that we can make sure to beat, because the Soviets beat, or was it, was it the Soviets who beat us to Saturn? Yes. Well, they're going to beat us to Saturn. I guess we could try planning Saturn. Let's let's try planning Saturn again. Select payload. Darn it. And then and then we'll we'll do 
International Space Station Construction and Pro Well, that's uh, part of the modular space station thing. Um, and we'll do Uranus. No, we'll go for all of them. We've got the money now. Okay, select payload. Always go for the standard payload. I don't know. That might not be the best thing. Okay, we didn't spend all that science to get those missions unlocked for nothing. I'm going to be doing the Grand Tour next so that we'll revisit all of them. Okay, so yes, we are aiming for the outer planets, having done the two stations around Earth. And looking forward to that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.